All right, so if you guys didn't know, a boy Ryan here is an Overwatch veteran. When did you start playing Overwatch, my bro? Uh, beta. This, he's been playing. He's been playing Overwatch for a very, very solid amount of time. And me and Hashan, we're, we're like, we're, we're fresh newbies to the game. I mean, we played for like a couple days, and we have what, maybe like 10, 15 hours in the game or whatnot. We got Ryan here today to show us the ropes, uh, an experienced pro Overwatch veteran super being give us a few tips and hopefully give you guys a few tips to get started on your overwatch journey and we'll see how it goes man to start off we're gonna ask ryan for three starter overwatch tips that if you've never played this game because to be honest when i watch this game on like twitch and stuff like that for like the first time it, it was literally so overwhelming to the eyes i, I literally thought it was just a, a cluster truck of what is happening it, it looked like apex legends end games all game long so if you could give us three tips that you think are good starting points for someone to take into account in their gameplay if they've never played this game before and they're, they're kind of like in our boat right now like we're, we're just kind of starting out and we're, we're trying you're, to you're find the ropes new. um biggest thing to me you gotta remember this is an ability based game the abilities are i'd say 80 percent of the game you could be the best tragger in the world you could you could have cracked aim but it would only mean so much if you're not using your abilities That's every fair. character in the game has their abilities for a reason i'd say it's equal importance for like aim versus abilities if not like like when i say slightly like maybe a 60 40 for abilities aim because some characters are like you don't really have to aim too much this game is very generous sometimes what's, his, what's his name again the grenade dude John oh, Krat. Krat. John Krat. oh my god you don't even have to Not aim him. it's just like a noob tube non-stop yeah um but always keep an eye on your abilities and timing of your abilities ults apex is ults they're very impactful but in this game they change fights like imagine a seer ult. you know how much that changes a fight you can see everybody yeah. almost every ult in this game is that level it'll make or break a fight like if it, that's ult economy is really good in this game okay and that's another thing is comboing your ults some ults are good to just rip it but others are good to just pair with your team like like zarya the tank that hasham used to play all the time the bubble girl her ult pulls everybody into one spot and they can't move for like five seconds any aoe ult is really good on that he just hits a massive some massive, massive splash damage. damage on all of them i definitely um, noticed like i i gotta do i, I kind of run around in this game a little bit like call of duty or like apex and i'm like i try to like 1v3 or, or just do like some mm -hmm. fragger type stuff but when you got like people like especially healers when they're supporting other teammates you you literally don't stand a chance like i gotta like remember that because yeah just... and that's that was like my final like beginner tip okay was mind your positioning this okay. game is a team game you're not going in and you're not winning this game solo unless you're playing somebody like a an assassin like uh tracer or sombra those are the only real like big characters that are going to be in the back by themselves picking off the back line but okay. they are there to, the, to do their role of kill the healers if you kill the healers in the game you win you win the fight because they can't really do much if they can't get healed only a few characters in the game can heal themselves so that means that no matter what damage you're outputting is going to be permanent until their healers get back okay. so like the, the basis is you essentially want your tanks to be frontline some tanks vary because they might dive but for the main part your tanks are the front dps behind the tanks unless they're an assassin and then your healers should be almost always in the back to where they can see everybody in front of them because healers are like one of the few roles in the game that can actually see the exact health state of everybody okay the bro I'm, as a your healer teammates. i'm literally on front lines when i play healer that's the exact <laughs> same thing i do i gotta, I gotta back up <laughs> <laughs> teammates as healers will actually go from being um green at, which is full hp to a red slash orange at low hp and okay. then it'll also say low hp uh as a icon if they're really low but always you just gotta mind your positioning in this game if you have the better position you'll win the fight if you have the better ult economy you'll win the fight but another thing if you're just starting out right one of the things that i think is really good because especially with the way they change the new uh user experience Mm -hmm. where you don't have everyone unlocked at first go and do like some of the like custom modes or other things like that in the firing range the firing range is your best friend you can test out everything in there it's kind of like experiment with everybody like learn everybody's kit because i feel like you know, even if i learn a character really good like i don't there's so many times i'm playing this game and i don't know what my enemies even like i don't know exactly what their ability is doing and that's so like how do you time. play against that like like you got to know what they're doing you know what i mean you gotta know a base of what everyone's doing and that that helps by going into the firing range because the firing range you will have everybody unlocked yeah and even so, some of the custom game modes that are um through the g game browser which is all community made and scripting and everything um those are really good they have all the heroes unlocked for the most part and you can just learn okay bet so the more you learn about every character the better off it's going to be because you'll be able to like know like 
oh, this character's ult is this, so I know how to do this with it. And it, it, it comes with time. But the more you play, the more you pay attention, the more, the more you, you get learn. destroyed by abilities, the more you'll <laughs> realize, okay, I don't like this character, so this is how I'm going to deal with this character. You are a mid-range warrior. Okay. Okay, bet. Um, I will be honest with you. Uh, our comp doesn't exactly, like, hold to your... Like, normally on, like, maps, too... Yep. Like holding from different positions are really good. Like up here is usually where you want to be for this map. Oh, up there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you, you'd sit up there. Okay. And uh, yeah. Oh, I got the orb oh, there. Oh, it's the bubble. I want it. It's Zoya again. There's a tracer up top. She coming over to me. Okay, buddy. That's what we're we doing, eh? She got shit on. Okay, I'm, I'm taking a uh, bridge here. Yeah, I got I got a heal. His sham was good, um, good. DPSing instead of healing. <laughs> Yeah. Got him. I'm dropping behind them. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea. No, that's usually what you want to do on this map is you want to like... Pinch him in? No, like, you want to just drop in behind him. Okay, okay. Bet, bet. Oh, I'm dead. Hold on. Oh, what the flip? Dude, it's it's this chick. Don't shoot her shield. Oh, she getting uh, that thing back her. quick, Torbjorn dude. Torbjorn is uh, feeding the crap out of her. Okay. Because his his turret will shoot her no matter what, with bubble or not. Oh, okay. Thorbjorn is really bad then. I have okay, we are not doing too hot. Healing. We're not doing too yeah. hot? Okay. Nah, I mean, we could make we could turn this back. It's just, I'm not even going to lie to you. The Sham is uh, not healing as much as he should be. Uh, I can't here. find people to dead. heal. That's because you're in front instead of, you know, what I literally just talked about. Clue. Dead. Oh, we're on a five streaker, boys. Oh, she's right there. Don't shoot her. Oh no, she's doing the thing again. Damn it. Tracer? Honestly, if we, hey, we make a big hold here, I can feel it. I can feel it. Tracer? Oh, their Tracer's not that great, to be real. Oh. Nah, they aimbot it. Oh yeah, he had aimbot. He had aimbot. Okay, that's that thing is brutal, dude. The aimbot really messes you up. Is my uh, sword, uh, <laughs> sword join it? So sword join join. orb heal herself or not? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I think I'm lost. I I'm I'm moving to where the objective the is in at this point. We good? You've made it. We've made it. We have indeed. Cassidy boy. Oh, he hit me with the heady. That was kind of gross. I can't TPD right now, stay. I need you to peek me. Trying, yeah. I'm peeking you, I'm peeking you. Yeah. Heals to be appreciated. Here for Max. I dropped off. They're going to be all on height, unfortunately. Kills earlier. Got him. Got the Cassidy. Where are you? Oh, I need heals. Bad, bad, bad. Back here. Love you. Thank I you. I heal all of you. Dude, I just turned the corner and all of them were like... Uh, Literally. Orb down there. I'm dead. Oh, I Kill this guy. Kill stay. this guy. Oh, he's getting stronger, damn it. I'm messing him up. Yeah. It's again. They're, they're, they're... Oh, dude, they just powerhouse through so hard. Honestly, that girl with the uh, the the force field, man, she is another level of powerful. It's actually incredible. She, she is the meta. Like, dude, yeah, she's I, so I, good. I, I just don't know how you beat her. Like, you can't shoot her, so they get free pushes. Yeah, we they still got a ways to go. We honestly, I think we win this. I feel like we can last get this. point holds do happen quite often. So, okay. And again, if I wanted us, to, it, I, I am not playing a healer that I'm good at. She is new at the game. She's pretty so. difficult to use as well, I feel like. I got stuck, unfortunately. Healing, healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here go. I have ult. We're up on the thing. Wait, behind, behind. Where? Oh, shoot. Yep, no, he you got me. It. I he heard it last it. second. You're like, behind you, and I heard, ha, noon. I was like, ah, <laughs> <Dude>, I'm dead. <laughs> I hear it, I just hear it. It's high noon, and then I just instantly die. You said stay. Zarya is literally invincible in one specific game mode. Oh my god. Did we lose that one? We lost that one. Well, GG yeah. boys. Wait, what's the game mode that she's invincible on? Total mayhem. Whew. That was fun Wait, though. <laughs> Good game boys. The abilities, I'm like, uh, uh, at least with Sojourn, just because like I'm playing her. her. Ultimate is pretty much like five charge shots. Yeah, her like, ultimate's really powerful because her charge shots are insane. Sometimes I like just use them to try to take out the tank like off, off the front of a push and I'm like be gone and then... Yeah, you could do it for that. Uh, again, I think the better use for it though, yep. just trying to pick off the healers. Pick off the healers? Because you'll one-shot oh, okay, okay. the healers. Oh yeah, that's honestly probably smarter, yeah. Because if they just heal then, the tank once, then bam, boom, he's pretty much good then, to go again. And a lot of tanks have ways to just block your damage or act like that damage didn't exist. So you're, since you're um playing a high ground, to let me know if you need healing today. Okay, bet, uh, bet. Oh, they're weak back tank. there. Literally two of them are one. It's insane. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I got you. 
Oh, they're in orb. They're in orb. They're gonna be getting messed up. One's dead. Dead. The Shami guy is doing me. some work with this movement. Woo! How they die, huh? Let's go, bro. Reaps in there. Dude, that guy who has lethal, I think, the guy that's shotguns, is so OP. Close He's kind of crazy. He is kind of crazy. He's, He's got, got like the shotgun. ability to just get out of like situations and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to try him next game. Cassidy to the left here. I'm going for him. He's one. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, Reap will. Oh, Reap, yeah, Reap did the ult. His ult is insane. He's just like a, he's like just the ultimate close range character, I feel like. He just schmucks everybody. I pretty useless. Oh, no, no, no. Got Kuriko. Kuriko dead. No, I don't know where to go, and that's all. Reap on me. Run. Definitely. Oh, I got, I got shot by Cassidy. You should always have two mains from each roll. It helps keep you balanced. True. Yes, you should, you should always have multiple mains. Because in case somebody picks it, mm -hmm. or you like, just the team comp needs something different. When I don't play her, I normally play Cassidy. To be real, Cassidy's pretty good. I enjoy his kid a lot. It's fun. It's flashy. <laughs> and yes, I did just push up and try to challenge a tank to a one v one. Then immediately regretted it. Oh, that the Kitsune. Oh, we got the Kitsune. Yeah, go crazy, yeah, like, I dude. This gun shoots so it. fast. It's insane. Oh, oh it's high, it's he's, got the, thing, he's got the thing. It is. Oh man, yeah. Me oh my god. The old shots. That just went nuts. I need heals. Asham, stop Wait. breaking out. Turn around. Love you. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah. Another thing I just looked at in your chat. Uh, your slide. My what? Yeah, you're, it's just wherever you're, the, you're a sliding ability. It's just wherever you're holding, not where you're looking. Oh, really? Yes. What? So, I didn't you know can that. slide in any direction. Wait, what? It's insane. I just, I just realized, yeah. Oh god, I get you back. I got my ult again. Hold up. Should be fun. Oh my god, we just went ham. Reaper, get over here. Dead. No. So, no, why is that running away? I'm trying to heal him. They can heal oh. themselves. They're in biz, so like they won't get shot. Okay. I'm like, dude, oh, she I'm got like, away to her teammates. Running away. <laughs> Rico's one. Oh, I just got stuck. Oh man, they, they all just moving as a unit. They're yeah, oh, they're they're God. doing body up that, behavior. That's the thing. Like, you got you gotta be as a team in this yeah. game. Like, yeah. Like one person solo gets picked off, and then you're four v five, and it's just like, well, you might as well just like wait off spawn for your teammates to like keep pushing up. It feels like. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Like if, if your team dies. Oh, hold oh, up, hold up. You, you should not push up on your own. Oh, hold up. I think it's yeah. For the alt in the tunnel here. I was like, just creep going oh, up. Okay. Hold angles. Again. You, another thing I I've, I've said this to you a couple times with your ult. Okay. You uh, you shoot too quick. Okay. You, you you're shooting when it's like fifty percent charge. Which it worked there, but like it does less damage than if you just wait for like the extra quarter second for it to get the full charge. So like when I'm shooting the ultimate, I, I need to just I didn't Hold look at way. it. Like yeah. I, I just gotta look at the meter, I guess. But the, like, like, the, the if, ult if shots low, even charge up. Yeah, they, they charge. They uh, normally like your your charge your shots they charge over time. Uh huh. I'm not. They charge with damage, but over your ult they charge over time. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta, I gotta like take time. Cause when you, when you have it at a hundred, bro, it, it schmacks. Like, yeah, and like if, if, you, if someone's like low and you can kill them with like a 60% shot, hit them with that. Okay, okay. But for the most part, you wanna wait till it's a hundred cause it'll, it'll smack them hard. Like right there, I should've just waited and let them rip down the pipe there. Mm -hmm. Okay.